day just to start this episode off. Ooh. That's a nice one. But just to start this episode off, I want to say that this vlog is not ending in any means. I've just been having some problems with Final Cut Pro, and um, I've just been really busy. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work lately. I've been shooting a bunch of movies for school. Um, so, yeah, that that's what we uh, that's what I've been working on lately. But by any means, I'm not ending this vlog. Um, I just got out of the shower, so. But I'm not ending this vlog. Um, in fact, I think I solved the problem with Final Cut. I called Apple yesterday. Um, that was the first experience I wasn't really happy with. Like, the guy was kind of. A but, um, uh, so, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So, uh, we're starting this week's question and answers. I'll put a freeze frame right here. song which means that we are having a Q&A this Thursday. Yeah, by the way, um I canceled Q&As being on Tuesday, but Thursday somewhere. Q&A Thursday, Q&A Tuesday, Q&A Thursday. Pick one, which one you like more, Q&A Tuesday or Thursday? You pick. I don't really know. Both of them sound really good. Okay, so Elijah uh, asks, "Can you show me your sax?" Uh, I don't have my saxophone with me. It's currently at school. Elijah, uh, Mr. Cook is mean to my mom. I'm sorry. Miskana asks, hi, you are really good. Thank you, Miskana. Um, Aiden says, get Fortnite, scrub. No. I, I, I have Fortnite. I just played it, like, twice. Amelia, what made you want to start vlogging and make bomb videos? One, thank you. And what made me start want to start vlogging is definitely the greatest YouTuber out there. One of the greatest YouTubers out there. Casey Neistat. He's a very talented man. Um, his vlogs, they all... They, they always, they're always really artistic and shows a lot of creativity out there towards creators to influence. So I get my influence from him. So you might notice like the music or the walking frame, stuff like that. Those are just like what happens in Casey Neistat vlogs because he is one of the best YouTubers out there and not nonetheless the vloggers. Um, what he does, what he portrays as a YouTuber, he just seems like a great person overall, and um, I aspire to be like him, so, yeah, hope that answered your question. I mean, Emily M says, you don't like pasta? No, I do not like pasta, but currently we're doing a challenge. If you write pizza in the com comments below, um, if more people say pizza than pasta, then she's going to have to do something embarrassing, and she's going to get it on video. If more people say more people say pasta, then I'm going to do something embarrassing. Um, okay, um, okay, this one kind of ties into Amelia's question. Who's your most inspirational person to you? From a creative aspect, it's definitely Casey Neistat, but like, the person who keeps making me want to do more is my friends and family, so that's that's them. What is the longest word I know? Um, that's such a random question, though, but I'm going to just go with Mississippi. Have you ever won a trophy or a medal? Not, I have, just it doesn't, doesn't mean anything to me. Um, what would be your perfect job? Creator, somewhere, or an actor? That would be cool. Um, what's my favorite subject in school? Science. Uh, yeah, science. Uh, 
which three words describe you the best? Um. Oh, I'm filming a Q and A. Aren't you supposed to use the chat? No, this is like they ask me questions in the comments and yeah, Sorry, and then I talk to them. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um. Uh, definitely creative. Oh wow, he just locked me out. Creative, comedic, and fun. Um, where's the worst smelling place you've been? Beach bathrooms. Um, what's the most useless ta useless talent I have? Um, a useless talent I have. Useless talent I have. I can set a tripod up in three seconds. See, that's for useless. Um, who's my role model when it comes to YouTube? It's um, again Casey Neistat. He's just a great person, and I aspire to be just like him. Um. Which time period would you visit hist in history? Probably now, because like, no. Maybe now, because we already have all the things to be creative, be out there, be unique. Back then it was just, it was, there was a lot of disease, there was a lot of war, there was a lot of bad things happening. And right now my life is in a pretty good spot when um, I can make my dreams and aspirations happen as I now. So the time period would be now. Have you ever baked a cake and who for and was it a success? I've baked a cake. It was not a success. Who was it for? I got bored. If you were a tree, which one would you be? Um, uh, probably a palm tree, because everybody likes those. Um, which planet in the solar system would you visit? Mars. That's pretty cool. Uh, have you gone out with mis mi mismatched socks or shoes on? Actually, both. It was for um, something at school. It was like it would. So they said it was like reverse day. So I decided to do. I don't know why, but I don't, I don't know why I did this for a reverse day. But I did like a different left shoe than a different right shoe, and then two different socks. What? Where would you most likely like to live? New York City. It's amazing. And that wraps up today's q and I'll leave questions below, and I will try to answer them in this vlog.